Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. It is a beautiful day out here. Sun is not a cloud in the sky. I can see half the moon. And as you could see from the sign behind me here, we are down at Roth Park. That's in Woodstock. Beautiful park. The lake is right there. I can see it right through the trees here. So I thought I'd take advantage of the good weather to do some uh, Q&As from you good viewers. Um, we have interesting video for this one. We have... Um, some motorcycle goes by. It's making me Jones for mine. Sorry, might be a distraction here too. <laughs> Anyways, we've got uh, some viewer reviews. We've got, what do we have here? Seven viewer reviews of the Tamron 70 to 200. Um, I guess it's the VC, the newest Tamron 70 to 200 F28 that we recently discussed. And so we've had a lot of people writing in with their feedback. So we've got seven user reviews uh, on the Tamron. Stephanie uh, Balzile. I hope I'm saying that right, Stephanie. She writes in and says, I own the Sigma 70 to 200 OS and found it too soft, full open for my liking. I switched a few months back to the Tamron 200, uh, 70 to 200 VC, and this lens is head and shoulders over the Sigma. Sharp at all focal lengths and apertures on both my D750 and D300S. One caveat, though, if you're on a Nikon mount and need, want to use a teleconverter, then forget about the Tamron. It will simply not accept any TCs and go for the Sigma instead. So great uh, feedback there from Stephanie and good note on the Nikon mount. I uh, wasn't aware of that. Morgan Peterson writes in and says, I have the Tamron 70-200 f2.8 for my Nikon D610 and I love it. So he's shooting it on the full frame D610. Great build quality, incredibly sharp images and super fast autofocus. Great lens. So another two thumbs up, two thumbs up for Morgan Peterson. I've got some notes here on the different... Uh, reviews. Stefan Allert writes in, uh, Tamron 70-200 f2.8 uh, VC is amazing, even compared to Canon. Sigma is pretty good, but not as good. I got mine used for US 930 in pristine condition, perfect. 24-70, uh, 17-50, and 70-200 Tamron. Uh, he's got the greater than Sigma sign. But for primes, I will get Sigma, he says. So in other words, he loves all these Tamron zooms, including the 70 to 200 F28 VC. He'd just get Sigma if he was going for the primes. Next up, we've got Orwin Santa Cruz. He says, I have the Tamron and it is amazing. I love that lens. I was able to get a gray market one for $1,000. Even at $1,500, I'd be happy with the lens. Just be sure to calibrate it. Mine needed a tweak and now is incredibly sharp and accurate. So another thumbs up from Orwin. Amir E. writes in, he says, I got my Tamron 70-200 F2.8 VC about a year ago. I was debating between this model and the Sigma, and I chose the Tamron. The Sigma is a very good lens, but the Tamron is better. It's sharper, fast, uh, focuses faster, and the VR on it is better. So that's interesting. He's saying the Tamron has better image stabilization and the focus speed, too. Uh, overall, according to all the reviews I read, the Tamron is ahead of the Sigma, and the price difference is very small. So I chose the Tamron and used it on my Nikon D7100. So he's using it on the crop sensor, the DX7100, and it was a great combination. Now I use it on my D750. Okay, so now he's got the full-frame FX D750 from Nikon, and it's just as good on it. Now, one word of caution. I assume the question is about the new modern VC version and not the older secondhand non-VR version because that old one had AF issues in lower light situations where it could hunt a bit. Thus, I would not recommend it. Okay, so good point. He's saying, you know, it's the newer one we're talking about here that's so good. The older one had some low light AF issues, according to Amir. Then we've got uh, John J. Uh, I own it, and it's my crutch lens. So in other words, he's saying it's his go-to lens. I normally keep it attached to the camera. I use it for relatively close sports and wildlife. The bouquet is ridiculously good. Very little flaring when shooting into the sun. AF is very quick on the lens side. Your camera is usually the culprit in low light or contrast. So again, John loves the lens. He's saying again that the AF is really good. He loves the bouquet. Just giving it like an all-round two thumbs up review there. And we've got uh, CRX Racer 805. I have that lens and I highly recommend it. It has superior optics over the Sigma, and that's a fact. I got a couple of videos on my channel shot in low light if anyone wants to check it out and see for yourself. So uh, he recommends it over the Sigma and he says it's got superior optics and uh, he really likes shooting with it in low light. So that's seven 
people, seven user reviews we have on the Tamron 70-200 f2.8 VC lens. Um, so they're taking it as uh, great. Everybody had positive feedback, super positive feedback, good AF. Um, it has good uh, sharp um, image quality. The optics are great and uh, no problems that way. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll see if we can get them answered. Either I will or somebody that's done the review here can take care of that for you. Um, thanks everybody for your user feedback, your little mini user reviews. It's always great for people to hear firsthand feedback from other shooters because um, you want to get a, um, you know, a sampling of information on it. So uh, thanks for tuning in folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.